Rucker's. Tell us Rucker's dead. What? Poisoned, I think. Holy shit, man. Rucker was the voice of the Augmented. People loved him for it. When word of this hits, Prague is gonna explode. And the whole world's watching. Listen, Miller's gone to meet with state police. Could be our chance to determine his loyalties. He lives near TF-29. You want us to search his apartment? Not us. Me. You keep digging into that Versalife break-in. And see what the Collective can dig up on a Victor Marchenko. If I'm right, and Rucker was poisoned, all three might be connected. Jensen out. Adam, you there? You're not gonna believe this. Vadim Orloff is in Prague. You're kidding. I wish I were. Six months ago, he got an augmented expert's visa and has been coming and going periodically ever since. Border control logged him in this morning. I arrived in Prague six months ago. Where's he staying? In the Lilioma Courtyard Apartments on Lavani Street, second floor. I'll check it out. Okay, reaping here, everybody. Welcome back to series Group of Visions of Deus X Mankind Divided. That was a lot there. I was actually on my way back to my apartment because there was still like that lady's uh, room I wanted to check out that I mentioned a couple of episodes ago or so that I noticed while editing that there is actually a safe that I, that I can open. And we just got a bunch of calls on the way. Good thing I was recording. So yeah, we can go to uh, meet Smiley, talk about the evidence stuff we had. And then the next part, that's interesting, this is mission 8, this is mission 9. Uh, we have to go check out Miller's apartment. Uh, Alex thinks Miller is dirty, but he did seem legitimately upset by Rucker's death. So we have to double check if he is somewhere involved. We found that story item here, this uh, pocket secretary, I think it was. Uh, it's probably under here. That has his initials on there. So, most likely it's him, but, you know, maybe it's someone else. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and then, now Seraph just called and said um, that like uh, Olaf is in Prague so we should go check him out or you know talk to him or whatever uh, in an apartment in Havlani Street so that is the one uh, up here that we just saw on the map there was a blue marker up there so I'm guessing that's the one yeah this is like this fancy apartment here so let's just go back first but this is pretty cool it is nighttime now so ooh. It looks really pretty at night, all those lights. But I don't know if these people are like more aggressive now. Oh. It is not our Botko Valley. I have another delicate matter that requires your expertise. I thought we were even, Otar. We will be even when I say so, my friend. Now then, to business. You will meet Mrs. Kadlek, the owner of the Red Queen. I understand she has a problem, a problem named Dominic. Let's get this straight. I'm not a cleaner for the Diwali's. Why don't you send one of your own? Why? Because I am telling you to do it. I don't mention killing. Just meet with Godleg and mind your manners. She's a powerful woman. Damn, okay, that's new. I like these light strips now. I just noticed that all glowing. Uh, this place... Have we been in here? We might have been in here. But this was definitely locked before. The gates were closed, so this is all new and open now. The Red Queen, huh? It's funny how I was looking at that Red Queen poster just as he was talking about her. Interesting. That looks so cool. Robotic bird. Okay, I'm gonna go back to our apartment though, and then we come back to this side of the city and check out all this new stuff. Apparently there's gonna be a festival as well. Sweet. Who's this? I just came from the Udalek complex, Felice. Golem City. Those people haven't been oh. relocated. They've been detained. And they're running out of supplies, of space, of hope. I told you. We cannot control how the government handles Udalek. I was not even permitted to recruit there. If I did, I'd fill my quota in 30 minutes. Shipping everyone to Rabia doesn't mean things would go differently. Augs are being dehumanized. You don't fix that with eco-friendly architecture. There are two problems with Udalek. A construction problem and an ideological one. Mr. Brown learned from past mistakes. And now we have checks and balances in place to screen out the undesirable elements. Checks and balances? What I saw in Gollum City goes deeper than security screening. Really? Then what do you think the problems are? Oh, where do we start? Yeah, she was the lady that was upstairs before, I believe, handing out these flyers, wasn't she? 
The real problem is a militarized police force who see the people they're supposed to protect as threats. There's no common ground, no oversight, no accountability. Rabia will be policed by Santo's own security services. They are augmented like us, and since Rabia is a corporate state, they have a vested interest in the city. It is part of the new city vision. Corporate security answers to the corporation. It's in the name. If the new city vision starts eating into Santo's bottom line, how long before they're pulled out? Mr. Brown, Santo has invested too much into Rabia for it to fail. It has to succeed. Not just for the augmented, but for the future. I hope it pays off. Yeah, I don't know about this. Okay, okay. Ooh, this looks so pretty. I love the lighting at night time. It's like keep stopping and looking at things. It's so like, ah, nice. Oh, there's a newsletter here. Just curious if it says something about Ruckus. Palisade Bank expands beyond Prague. That's probably important for like future stuff. Uh, Earth Alive. Okay. I guess not. News hasn't spread yet, I guess. Soon, this thing is broken as hell. Okay, so I was upstairs. I was at Lady's apartment. Uh, anything new here? Civilian. I kept running into these people. What's going on here? Oh, was it this apartment? Uh, I think it was. They were they were saying that the police might find them or something. Can I get in there? It's not a restricted zone. I don't know what they're saying. But it's probably not good for them. For him. No, no, no. Only civilian. No, nothing special. Yeah, I was like walking around here. And then I noticed that. Aha! There's actually something behind here. Now, will he be annoyed if I do this? I think he might, because it's like hacking it. Oh no, it's not hacking. I have the code for it. So he can't say anything. I'm legally open opening this sort of revolver inventory is full. Okay, damn it. Is there something else though? It almost looks like there's something else. Okay, I got it. Uh, I just sold a bunch of. Uh, Scrapped a bunch of things. Okay, that's done. That's interesting. Oh, look at that. He's filming it. I love this. Like, these little, little um, just events happening, you know? It just makes it so lively. You guys should probably check out this place, you know? There's a bunch of neon in here. Or maybe those, <laughs> those traders, but whatever. Man, this UI design is not the greatest, huh? I'm trying to buy... I'll sell a bunch of ammunition, but you can't drag this at all. <laughs> you have to use this button or hold the right cursor key, which is not great. I just want to sell a bunch so I can like stack some again. And I can barely read this text. Super weird. All right, sold a bunch of things. We have so much money. Is there anything cool we can buy? Anything new? Why is this menu looking so weird today? Something's up though. This doesn't look right. It's never been like this super bright. I'll buy this. Well, this is 10,000 though. Uh, sure. Might as well. Kinda wanna check up on those that those weird cult people. You guys remember those? We never got we never opened this properly? Interesting. Well, let's quickly do this. Should not be too crazy, I suppose. Let's get the extra ones too. Alright, here we go. This one and then this one. Access granted. Nice. Got a nuke software out of it. Isn't this the Hey, what place is this? You can choose to only show my shoe, which is very ugly. Wait a minute. I was thinking this is the place where they had that cult, you know, they had this like father lying on a sofa. This is a place I've never been to, or Someone just moved in or something? Weird. 
I have to have seen this, no? Oh my god, okay, my mouse is super slow on these screens. Let me see if there's anything to look around here. See, I love this game, but boy, does it have issues. Um, I just try to increase my mouse sensitivity because my mouse is always like super high, has a high sensitivity. So in every game, I have to turn it down. So I try to turn it up. It doesn't affect this whatsoever. Like, I, it's like this is the whole movement from like the bottom to the top of my mouse pad. <laughs> like, what the hell game? It's the same with the map. And if you try to scroll there, it's just ridiculous. Unfortunately, those are things, you know, that are left over from console versions. I don't mind console per console ports, but man, at least do it right. This is weird. If I get close to the door... Wait. Yeah, the light turns on. I don't know if that's a graphical thing, because the lamp is loading now or something. But, I don't know. Anyway... Oops, how do I get out of there? Back. Didn't see anything through the telescope. Super weird, though. Someone likes cats. There's no cat at home. Oh, what's this? Credits? Always oh, terrible to steal the credits, I suppose, but you know. Even augmented man gotta eat. This is super. I'm really confused about this apartment. Turn off your freaking TVs when you leave the house. What the hell, guys? You just like shit money? It's probably super expensive here. Or the electric, electric bills. Ooh, okay. Europazine. See, this is terrible to steal, you know? I feel kind of bad about, about this. Oops. Because it's like, they probably need that. <laughs> they probably need that. But hey, maybe they can afford it. Do you have something behind your fridge? No. Yeah, I was so sure that this is the room where they had that... Um, where they worshipped the machine god or whatever. That was on the wall. What the hell? On the rooftops? That is cool as hell. Does this actually lead to anywhere, though? Yeah, it does. What? What? This is super cool, man. Shouldn't we be arrested? Oh. You know who? By now. Oh, hey. Ah, John is not going anywhere. What's Someone died. I was given the same orders you were, sir. I know all about our orders. Do me a favor, eh? At least pretend to look for evidence. You don't think he did it? I do think he did it. But I also think we should at least try to prove it, if that's okay with you. Anything you say, sir. Who's that? He, okay, he seems uh, he seems important. I should probably go down and talk to these people. Something happened here. Someone got shot. Um, and they're probably. I'm guessing they're gonna assume it was a augmented person. Just my guess, you know. Just nilly willy guess. But where does this lead to? I love this, man. Rooftops are awesome. Reminds me of the Thief games. Some of my favorite games. Okay. I'll take it all. Cool. I wonder if he could have gone here before, too. This is... I mean, that apartment had to be... <laughs> to say. There before already, right? This is not a restricted area, right? So you're special, right? Detective Carl Montag. Daria says something, but apparently she doesn't talk to cops. Maybe she will talk to me. Away from the crime scene. Whoa! Did they cut off her legs? Oh, was she augmented? And they ripped off her augments or something? We can't let them get away with this. You want to talk to me, Daria? I recognize you. We're neighbors. I've seen you in our building. You're very difficult to miss. By chance, did someone send you <gasps> to investigate? Oh. No, no one sent me. What happened here? It's horrible. An augmented woman was killed just outside of where we live. She looks like she was my age. Do you have any idea who she was? No. I've never seen her before. It's so sad that nothing would be done about this. Org victims are not high on the list of police priorities. To them, it's like a dog lying in the street. You're, you're not a cop, are you? Not technically. Daria sounds super familiar. Is she not the woman that was up in that apartment we just came from? Like the, um, the one where her husband maybe got just arrested, which would maybe make sense then, or... I don't know. 
Maybe that woman on the floor is the woman who lived up there. I'm not quite sure. That's maybe why they arrest her, not because of the smuggling stuff. Uh, I was a cop. Nah, let's do this. I work with someone else, another agency. That's perfect. Do you outrank the police? Depends who you ask. The detective here. He he's not willing. I got the feeling he doesn't care. What about you? What's your interest in all this? Morbid curiosity? God no. I want nothing more than to go home. Detective Montag, he's making me stay. He he thinks I saw something. Did you see something? Maybe. I think I would rather not say, to be honest. Because if I had seen something, and if I started talking about it, wouldn't that put me in danger? Well, I mean, if you get, you know, I don't think the police would really protect you, so maybe. <laughs> um, you might be already in danger. Yeah. This is a bit mean, though, but, you know. Uh, you may not think much of these here, I may not think much of them either, but that doesn't mean you should hold back information. I feel like the fright might work, but maybe I'll try this. It's natural to be I won't be nice first. Then you understand. I don't want to get involved if I don't have to. Sure, I understand. You don't know anyone here. But there's a chance this could happen again. The more you're willing to cooperate with the police, the better the odds of catching whoever's responsible. I know. It's just that I don't trust the police. I would feel safer with someone like you. You have more reason to be invested in this than they do. You're augmented, like the victim was. And you look like you could actually protect me. It's not my case. But maybe you could help. Please, neighbor. Talk to Detective Montag. At least see how it's going. Make sure he doesn't think he's on vacation just because the victim is an orc. Okay. I'll talk to the officer in charge and see where he is with the investigation. If I can help him, I will. Thank you. Suppose I end up remembering something later. Is there a way for me to contact you? You planning to run off on me already? The first chance I get. There are times for standing in the cold, but this isn't one of them. I just want to go home, bolt the door, and never come out again. Of course, I will wait for Detective Montag to say it's okay first. And I'll still try to answer whatever questions you may have. I can give you access to my info link. You should feel free to use it if you have to. Thank you, neighbor. Alright, I love a little happen. thing on the head. It looks super cool. All right. Hello. So, Daria was actually talking to you, huh? I could barely get two words out of her. What did she say? Did she see anything? You mean your witness over there? She's... She's not sure yet. <laughs> How can she not be sure? Either she saw something or she didn't. She's scared. She thinks she might be in danger. I told her she'll be fine, and that whoever did this would be caught. I'd like to believe that's true. Sure, so would I. But as you can see, the victim was like you. Augmented. That makes things a little more complicated, eh? Being a cop in this city, it's not always about doing the right thing. Or about doing things the right way. What? That should be all it's about. There's no reason this should be complicated. Someone gets killed, you need to find the killer. Whether the victim was an og or not has nothing to do with it. Uh, no favorites before the law, eh? Okay. But what if the law itself is prejudiced, eh? As an officer of the law, wouldn't it be my duty to uphold that prejudice? No, it wouldn't. It's your job to uphold the ideal, to know the difference between right and wrong, and to act accordingly. Uh, you're obviously not a cop, are you? I used to be. For 12 years. I work for Interpol now. Interpol, huh? Listen, off the record, I've been told to forgo any unnecessary investigation. I want you to know, it's not my idea of how things should be done. Who told you to forgo the investigation? 
Men who spend more time making policies than arrests. They want the victim's husband, Johnny Gunn, ex-PMC operative. Heavily augmented. All right. So if you're not comfortable with this, if you know things aren't being handled the way they should, why not do something about it? I thought I just did. Just because my hands are tied doesn't mean Interpol can't conduct a parallel investigation. Crime scene's right over there, and Johnny lives just a couple of blocks from here. I never said I was going to work your case for you. Hey, sure you did. Isn't that more or less the promise you made your little friend over there? She won't talk to a cop because she doesn't trust us. Smart girl. Look. My orders are to arrest the husband. You take a look around, get to Johnny before my guys do, who knows? Maybe we'll actually learn something. I'll let you know what I find. Alright, well this is pretty cool. It's like an augmented investigation. Oh yeah. Who do they think Detective they are? Uh, Jensen. Okay, Marx. Damn. They're cutting marks above Angela Gunn's arm. Looks like she had an augment that was forcible removed. Yeah, and on her legs probably too. I wasn't sure if like, you know, her legs are just clipping into the floor Who as sometimes they do, but... Uh, the bruises on Angela Gunn's neck are recent. Looks like the killer strangled her and even left a partial fingerprint. Oh. Can we like scan the fingerprint? Mm. Needle. There was a piece of a broken needle sticking out of Angel Gunn's right shoulder. Anesthesia, maybe? Not sure. Just because Monta trusts him doesn't mean I do. Hmm. Hmm. Exhaust all evidence. Okay. Can we see evidence in our supervision? Oh. Sad warning. EMP frag. A fragment found near Angela Gunn's body. It looks like it came from an EMP, used primarily to disable electronics of people who rely on augmentations. The murder victim's ID card. Angela Gunn was a reporter for the Nova Prashka Pravda. Okay. Probably means press or something. Looks, uh, looks like part of a pair of glasses. Fuck up. How come I can hear better or something if I do this? That shit to sell copies. No, this was political. It's always political. Oops. <laughs> Hold on, I'm not gonna... Do you guys see something? What was that? Oh, all these things. I can't look away. It was just a matter of time before they got her. Before who got her? She's that journalist. The one writing all those things about you know who. You'll have to fill me in. Radko Maximilian Perry? The local anti aug politician? That's Angela Gunn lying there. She's the one that's been writing about him. There was a threat of a scandal and everything. Coincidence? I think not. It's important to follow the evidence in situations like this. You can't just accuse people left and right. I gave you evidence. I told you. The articles. Right. Other than that, is there anything else that makes you think this politician might be responsible? Damn right there is. Fucker told my car once. When he was municipal transport minister. <laughs> I see. Well... I hate that guy so much. Did you actually see anything? I just got here. So I see what you see. A dead augmented journalist. Thanks. Thanks for nothing, buddy. Not very helpful, was it? Let's, um, take a... Oh, wait, I have it bound to my mouse button now. I forgot. I forgot I had done this. Oh, no. So we're still missing one evidence. It's not this, right? No. Something over here. Pylons. Nope. Civilians. Hmm, okay. So we're still missing one, huh? Fuck walking this beat. There's still yeah, something on her body I didn't see. Six out of seven. Seems okay here. You have anything else to say? I have some questions for you. I will cooperate. You have promised to help, and so I will try to help as well. She's really pretty. 
Um, how did the attack happen? How did the attack happen? What was the killer doing? He was on top of her, cutting the evil out. That's what he called it. Uh, I mean, I think. So you heard his voice? Very clearly, yes. He sounded confident, authoritarian, like a general commanding troops. What did he say exactly? It is time to make you whole again. Okay. Can you remember anything about what the killer looks like? To be honest, I saw more of the shadow than the man. I remember he was very big. The shadow, it covered everything. So you can't describe him? Not the face, no. His clothes, he was wearing something very dark. Black, maybe blue. Was he augmented? He moved like an augmented man, but I can't say for sure. Okay. What were you doing here? I was looking for starlight. My cat. There was lightning and suddenly this flash of certainty. That's when I knew something awful was happening. Where were you exactly? In the shadows. My head was down. I couldn't move. Oh God, stupid Daria. I shouldn't have gone out today. The energies were all wrong. Okay, so she's the one with the cat that just moved in there, I guess. I wonder if there's something with the telescope there now that we can see it for evidence. Is there anything else I should know about you? Telephone number? You something? want to know about Daria? What is there to tell? Small town girl came to the big city to escape her problems. To try and become someone else. Did it work? Not really. You can't escape yourself. You can't just come to a big city and expect all your problems to seem smaller. It doesn't work that way. That's where alcohol comes into place. Why is it you don't trust the police to take care of this case? I have bad memories of the police. What kind of memories? Get calls I didn't want. Tickets I didn't deserve. The policemen here are, are worse than children. Former captains of high school sports teams who will never recapture their years of glory. I was captain of the debate team in high school. It's Awkward. Well, debate is different. <laughs> What's your take on Montag? You ever meet him before tonight? I went to the station once, years ago, to complain about the ticket. Detective Montag is the one they send you to handle the paperwork. How'd he do? He did fine. The point is, he's a desk jockey. Look at him, he's lost out here. The cops who know how to catch killers, they're not the ones sent to investigate murdered ox. I'm gonna do what I can to help the investigation. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, so we still we still need a piece of evidence. So I'm just gonna have a look around, snoop around. I wonder if it's either the um too late to Oh, never mind. There it is. A ripped out augmentation. Whoever did this didn't seem too keen to uh, keep it for themselves. They just wanted to to separate it from the body. Yeah, thought as much. What do you want? If it wasn't for Johnny, then I might have paid you for this. <sighs> Hovering over the punch key. Okay. Enjoying yourself, detective. Quite so, yes. All right, I have some questions about the murder. Before we go any further with this, I need you to know something about Johnny Gunn. Okay. He's he's not a good man. I may not like how my bosses are targeting him, but that doesn't mean he's innocent. So you know. Just make sure you're here for the right reasons. Why else would I be here? I don't want this to turn into some kind of crusade. Bad men do bad things. In a perfect world, we arrest them for the right reasons, but, well, the world's not always perfect. Makes sense. You'll only arrest the victim's husband if the evidence tells you to, right? It's not enough that he's an og, and that your bosses want him to go down. I'll hold my guys off for as long as I can. But unless you can prove someone else killed Angela, or at the very least that Johnny didn't, I don't have much choice. That's why I'm trusting you to talk to him. Give me your honest opinion on what happened here. Yeah. Why are you trusting me exactly? 
Because you gave me the impression of being qualified. Because I'm big enough to admit that maybe I can use the help and... Between you and me? Because the thought of confronting a man like Johnny Gunn scares the shit out of me. Also, so your sunglasses are pretty cool. How long have you been a cop? <sighs> Too long. And of all the ways to go out, eh? What do you mean? I mean being assigned a case like this. It's HQ's little joke before sending me off to retirement. Oh, but don't worry about me, eh? I'm a survivor. I can make it through this. This case is a joke to you? I didn't say that. I said it's a joke to HQ. They know I haven't left my desk in years. But that doesn't mean I'm not qualified. Just... Just a little rusty. Man, I think that guy had enough of this policing stuff. People hold a hell of a grudge against hogs. Ever since the incident. Yes, and? Well, good thing the cops here are such professionals. Part of being a police officer is treating everyone the same, right? Og or no Og. It's not that simple, and you know it. A police force isn't some abstract ideal of what justice and law should be. It's an instrument of those in power. A reflection of the society it protects. I haven't been seeing a whole lot of protection out there. Well, that depends who you ask. Yep, always protecting the high ops, the state. I'm here because I don't like the idea of someone killing people right outside my window. Maybe he's out there right now, targeting that poor witness. Or maybe he's just looking for any chance to do it again. Fair enough, Mr. Intopol. Oh boy, there's a lot here. Um, but I do want to see where this all leads to. Anything I should know about the scene? Anything jump out at you? The dismembered body jumps out at me. <laughs> Keep in mind, I've been behind a desk for the last 12 years. It all jumps out at me. Fair enough, fair enough. I found this press ID on the victim. Okay, enlighten me. We care about this... why? Angela Gunn was a journalist. Maybe this is work-related. Maybe she uncovered something she wasn't supposed to. Maybe. I don't know. He sounds so into it. I found what looks like a grenade fragment. EMP by the looks of it. Killer might have used this to incapacitate her. Interesting. Johnny wouldn't need an EMP to take down his wife. Riot police use EMPs to re-establish public order around here. With all the AUG riots, anti-AUG riots, it wouldn't surprise me if that's all it was. Still, interesting. Mm. I found this piece of glass near the body. A pair of broken glasses, maybe? I don't know what to tell you. We're in the back alley of a major city. There's bound to be broken glass. I forgot if, like, looking at the ID, if she had, if she was wearing glasses. I don't think she was, so it might belong to the, to the murderer. Do you know if the victim had any enemies? I know she and Johnny didn't get along. Other than that, I really couldn't tell you. Tell me about the victim's husband, Johnny. He used to work for a private military company, Bell Tower. He's been arrested for all sorts of things in the past. Good old Bell Tower. Now don't get me wrong. I believe in evidence. But I also believe in playing the odds. Nine times out of ten, the husband did it. Why are your superiors so eager to pin Johnny for murder? It's gotta be more than just not liking the guy. Standard policy for guys like Johnny. The way they see it, you send a man like him into Gollum City and he's liable to go off the grid, end up with Arkor. God knows who. He becomes ten times more trouble than he's worth. But if they can charge him with something big, something like murder, well, suddenly he's no trouble at all. Wow, what a great system. Apparently the victim was mixed up in some kind of political scandal with a man named Radko Perry. Hey, not the first time a politician and a journalist didn't get along. 
So you don't think he's worth talking to? Radko Perry? A murderer? Uh, I don't think so. Worst he can do to someone is get their car towed. Good thing I don't have a car. Where can I find this guy? Ah, uh, Radko runs his campaign out of an old print shop not far from here. You want to brighten up his day? Be my guest. But that's all you'll be doing by telling him his rival is dead. Hmm. Well, he probably wouldn't be the one doing the murdering. I would probably hire someone to do it. I spoke to Daria. She's able to confirm that the suspect is male. Other than that, she's all over the place. I think she's pretty shaken up. Yeah, well, can't blame her. I would be too. You seem to have made a good impression, though. Ever since you got here, she seems different, calmer. <laughs> you know, I met my first wife over a crime scene. Let me give you a very important piece of advice, eh? Never marry the ones you save. But why not? She seems nice. Did the killer leave anything behind? Does anything strike you as odd? I don't know. It's a murder, you know? Doesn't matter if you look at it sideways or upside down. It's never going to look normal. Mm-hmm. I found a broken needle stuck in the victim's shoulder. The killer might have drugged Angela before killing her. Maybe. But keep in mind, she was an og. Don't you all have to shoot up that new pal shit? Let's go for the obvious before jumping to any wild conclusions. I'm assuming you know her augments were harvested. The marks on her body make it seem like the killer knew exactly what he was doing, knew exactly what he wanted. Huh. The way you said that just now. What about it? The way you described the og removal. And before, you mentioned the broken needle in the right shoulder. That's right. It reminds me, you know. There was this cop, Smolinski. He used to work in this neighborhood. He had this theory about a copycat. Someone acting just like a dead killer named, um... Zvobotka. You think there's a connection to another case? I don't know yet. But I remember him mentioning something about needles and og removal. Smolinski died in the police station bombing. Whatever files he had would have been moved into temp storage, across the street from the bombed out station. Who knows? Maybe it's nothing. Interesting, okay. I found a print on Angela's neck, next to the contusion marks. It's a partial, so I don't think we can match it to anything. But at least we know the killer left something. And that she was strangled. Huh. A fingerprint. I must have missed that one. Right. This is exactly the kind of evidence I'm talking about. No way Johnny could squirm his way out of something like that. If only we could link it to him. That's not how that works. You just don't just link it to him. You like, you know, link it to whoever who is responsible. I want to help you with this case. To do that, I need a rundown of what you know already. Help me, huh? You mean, like being my subordinate? I mean like making sure we catch whoever's responsible. Right. Well, I have a dead body, Angela Gunn. I have bureaucratic pressure to arrest the augmented husband, Johnny Gunn. I have a crime scene, and I have you. Okay. I have what I need for now. I should go. That's fine by me. Wow, lots of information, lots of talking. Uh, but that was good. We got a bunch of information out of this. He mentioned that guy across that train station. Oh, that's where it could be. Um, probably have to check that out. It's probably one of these things here, huh? Yeah, it's this old case. And Smolinski and the other name, they sound really familiar. I don't know if you read about these before or something. But for some reason, those names sound familiar. I don't know. It could just be coincidence. And yeah, she doesn't wear glasses, at least not on her ID. So I'm guessing the glasses belong to uh, either the person who did this or, you know, just random old glasses that were lying on the ground doesn't have to be connected i suppose cool but well, we'll check this out next episode this was really long lots of talking hopefully that's fine but uh, i enjoyed it it's your turn to buy the coffee i was so angry 
And yeah, thanks all for watching and see you guys then. Bye bye.